evening, April 15, 2019. Ham, do we have any public comment? Uh, Wes Kelly. Uh, Mr. Kelly, if you don't mind, step right over to the microphone, please. Thank you very much, sir. My name is Wes Kelly, and I'm at 112 Spragans in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm with Huntsville Utilities. And I'm here today to give you all an update on an acquisition of territory and assets with Limestone County Water System. Uh, there is an area that Limestone County Water has served for more than 30 years, uh, which is inside the city of Huntsville. And uh, uh, Huntsville Utilities is acquiring that area from Limestone County Water and some additional areas. Some of those areas are areas that have been subsequently annexed into Huntsville. And there's a little bit of area which is still outside into the county, but for operational reasons, we want to draw, draw a clear line of demarcation between us and Limestone County Water. And if you know the city of Huntsville's uh, boundary lines, it's anything but clear. So instead, what we're looking at here is a negotiation between Limestone County Water, where Huntsville has agreed to pay $11 million. And for that $11 million, they're going to transfer over territory and the water assets that are in the ground now. And that boundary line is essentially going to go from about the Tennessee River and I-65, up 65 to the railroad. And then at the railroad, it goes across till it hits Limestone County Creek. And then it goes up Limestone County Creek up to the top of the Mazda Toyota property. So we figure an interstate, a railroad, and a creek, you're going to know if you cross those boundaries, whereas you can't say the same about city limits. So uh, this picks up some areas within Limestone County that are not just part of the city of Huntsville. So uh, this includes 310 customers that are in Limestone County and outside the city of Huntsville. It's basically, we're talking about Mooresville, Swancott, Pryor, Rock House, and New Hope Roads. So Commissioner Black, I guess these are all within your district. Uh, this agreement is in the best interest of both Huntsville Utility, Limestone County Water, Mazda Toyota, and other economic development prospects that are coming to that area. With this acquisition, the water rates within that area are going to de decrease 40 percent, about 40 percent from the current cost. So there's about 1,500 City of Huntsville residents that will now get on Huntsville Utility rates. They'll be happy, plus these 310 customers that are outside in Limestone County. They'd also see their water bills go down about 40 percent as uh, part of this transfer. So uh, this transfer is all good to go. Matter of fact, the water systems are tied, but there's a couple things that the close has been contingent on. It's been contingent upon this body providing a right-of-way uh, easement to Huntsville Utilities, allowing us access to county right-of-way. It's also been contingent upon Limestone County Water getting its bond releases because this $11 million, as I understand it, is going to be used to help pay down some of their debt. So we've had to get some of that paperwork squared away, and that's well underway at this point. But we started this conversation all the way back in 2017. So why do we need a, a right-of-way agreement with you all? Well, uh, Limestone County Water is an authority of the state, and as such, it's created under a special statute of the state. And uh, Alabama Code 1188.14 provides authorities access to public right-of-way. Well, Huntsville Utilities is an older, more traditional utility. It does not have the benefit of that state provision, so we need your authority to have access to that right-of-way because the state has not granted us blanket authority like they have author like they have. Uh, water authorities. So we need that authorization directly from you so that we can button up our legal paperwork. So what we're asking for is a permanent non-exclusive easement to access within the right-of-way for whatever rights you may or may not have. We're just basically an understanding that sure we can operate in the right-of-way providing that we don't mess up Mr. Massey and, and all of the things that the city, uh, the county engineer needs us to do to be good citizens. We want to leave it the way we found it. Uh, we, we're not at one. These pipes are, of course, already in the ground, but when we do future work, we'll make sure that we're good citizens and we take care of our mess and we clean it up and we leave it in good shape and we work collaboratively. We've never had any problems working in the jurisdictions of anybody else. We get along real well with all of the authorities that we work with. So uh, we have been working collaboratively with the county attorney and appreciate his help on this. And uh, we would like uh, to request that you consider this at your May meeting because, as I said, the sale of these assets is contingent upon this right-of-way understanding so that we have clear and obvious rights uh, to the pipes that are in the ground along the county roads and that future maintenance of those uh, pipes won't, won't be an issue. So I'll be happy to answer any questions, but I want to respect the time uh, provided to me. All right. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. I got a question for Daryl. Sure. Are you all connected as Huntsville Utilities and... Uh limestone going to be connected to where you can push water that way and they can push water okay and y'all have y'all have an agreement whichever ways it goes 
Yes, sir. Actually, uh, each of us will have two purchase points directly connected with one another. And so uh, in, in total, there's four connection points between the two utilities. Two go our way, two go their way. And those systems are already tied together. Operationally, billing, customer-wise, we've already done all that work. We're just needing to get our I's dotted and T's crossed on this legal issue. All right. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time. Appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Pam, do we have any more public comment? Gary Parnell. Mr. Parnell, if you don't mind, please come up to the microphone. My name is Gary Parnell. I'm from West Limestone on Hickory Ridge. One part of it is a dead end road called Glendale Lane, and the road is atrocious to say the least. It's very dangerous for both the buses and everybody that lives there. It's cost me over $1,500 from my tires being worn out on my Tahoe to having all three of my vehicles having to have front ends realigned. And the school bus driver has to go off the road to keep from hitting all these potholes. There's been a couple of potholes that was filled by the county with asphalt, but that was it. The rest of it needs to be filled. Putting gravel on it and filling them holes just create bigger problems. It makes the holes bigger, and we've incurred a lot more holes. We need the county to come up there and take care of that. Don't grind it up and turn it into a gravel road like some men wanted to. We need to get it fixed. I know money is stretched in the county, but it's just a small road with nine families living there, but we pay our taxes and we have to repair our vehicles once they get messed up. And I've been there for almost two years as far as living there, been driving up and down that road for almost three years when I was building. It is ridiculous. My F-350 is costing me a fortune to have the front end realigned and put new tires on it. If we can get the county to come up there and do something that will fix that problem temporarily or long term until it can be completely recovered, whatever. But we, we do need something done. It's a danger to everyone who has to drive on it. So, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Barnett. Mr. Oh, Chairman, did you want me to respond? We'll just respond in your, in your comments. Okay. Yes, All right. All right. At, um, at this time, I'm going to the public with a proclamation where everybody can get back to work. I know everybody's here busy, so if y'all, who else is receiving a proclamation? If y'all step up here to the microphone, please. <laughs> We'll get half the crowd out of here, aren't we? <laughs> Thank y'all for all you do. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, how you doing today? Hi, sir, how are you? All right. How are you doing? I'm good. You can hide plump behind me now. Somebody can. can <laughs> Sheriff, y'all ain't got nobody to get rest nobody up there, do you? No. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I want to thank all y'all for all your service. You know, y'all's job is probably one of the most important jobs it is out there. You know, I mean, when, like I said, when people call, they're the first people you talk to is y'all. So, so I just want to thank y'all. So when an emergency occurs, a, a prompt emergency response is critical to the protection of life and pre preservation of property. The safety of our emergency responders is dependent upon the quality and the accuracy of information obtained for the citizens of people like y'all. So thank y'all. And, uh, you know, telecommunications are the first, are first first responders and the most critical contacts of our citizens have with emergency response. Telecommunicators are the single most single vital link for our emergency responders by monitoring the activities by, by radio and I can't even see, providing them with information hereby ensuring their safety. Telecommunicators of Athens Limestone County area have contributed uh, substantially to the criminal apprehensions and of fires and medical protections. The Limestone County Commission declares April 14th through April 20th, 2019 to be National Telecommunications Week. The Limestone County Commissioner is honored to have men and women like y'all, the diligent work professional in keeping the people of this citizens escape. Thank y'all for all y'all do. Yeah, I know, right?
Thank you. Yeah, copies for him. I think she's got y'all rocking over here. Chief, I think she's got something for y'all. She's got a copy of that proclamation for you. <clears throat> they didn't they didn't waste enough time, did they? they did. See. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all for all you do. Even you, Ted. She does a great job. She does an awesome job. <laughs> all right, Pam, would you please call roll? Commissioner Samet. Here. Commissioner Turner. Here. Commissioner Black. Here. Commissioner Harrison. Here. Thank you. Commissioner Black, would you listen to plan, please? I will. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. First on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to approve the minutes of April the 1st and April the 10th, 2019. Do I have such a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Commissioner Turner, second by Commissioner. All right. right. Black, I'm getting my mind getting blank here. That's me, me. I'm having one of them moments today. Welcome, Black, to Alabama. Welcome, Black, to Alabama. There you go. There it is. <laughs> Do I have a discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Do we have any conflicts of interest or anything coming from the commission today? Well, you skip one. We got to do approve the claims. claims. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought that's. Mm. All right. I'll ask for a motion to approve the claims in the amount of cents. Presented to the commission. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Harrison. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Now, do we have any conflicts of interest with anything from front of the commission today? For that taken as a silence, I'll take that as a no. We have no resolution, no orders. No contracts, or grants, and agreements. Under budget revisions, I'll ask for a motion to suspend the rules of order to add a budget revision to the agenda. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Harrison. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Black. So, with that being said, I'll ask for a motion. I can take a vote. I can take a vote on that. Sorry. I need to, ma'am, please call a vote on that. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Uh -huh. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Now, I'll ask for a motion to approve that we moved $40,000 from the RMB building fund to the building fund balance. Do I have such a motion? Make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Harrison. Do I have any discussion? And this for the renovations of the? Yes, sir. It's yep. for the renovations it of the building. Doing a good job. All right. No more. Any more discussion on that? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Harrison. Aye. Commissioner Turner. Aye. Commissioner Black. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. We now have no emergency purchases, no board appointments. Under award of bids, I'll ask for a motion to approve liquid asphalt pickup and delivery from March, from April the 22nd of 2019 to March the 31st of 2022 with Aragon asphalt in the motion. A motion incorporated. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Simon. Any discussion? Is this at the 25 cents per yes, gallon? Yeah. yeah, this is what we discussed in the meeting. Um, it'll be, um, they'll supply a tank. Um, we will see an upcharge of 25 cents a gallon through like around 287,000 gallons, then the price will, will adjust down. Um, but we will we'll own the tank and and it will remain with us. So. All right. Did they give you any indications when, when the tank could be installed? He said that um, from the time we, we agree on the tank, it would be about 45 days to manufacture and deliver. So We've got to get our pad and stuff ready. At the so, the but, but they'll give me the specifications for the foundation and the utilities <coughs> and everything, and then I can get that started once, once we agree on the tank. So I'll have about 45 days to get that done. No more discussion. I'll call for the vote. 
Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Under personnel action, I'll ask for a motion to approve family medical leave for Roy Brooks beginning March 25th, 2019 until May the 6th of 2019. Do I have a motion? Make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Second on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve family medical leave with Jonathan Yader beginning April the 25th through 20 of 2019 until June the 7th of 2019. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Third on here, I'll ask to approve the following job description and add to the staffing plan for the emergency of engineering department, engineer assistant, engineer trainee, grade 10. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Harrison. I'll now call for the vote. <coughs> any discussion on that? I'm, it's hard. Did anybody have any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. The motion carries unanimously. <coughs> Fourth on here, I, I'll ask for a motion to amend the following job descriptions for community corrections for um, job duties. It'd be um, drug lab technician and case manager. Do I have such a motion? I make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Turner. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimous. At this point, I'll turn it over to our engineer, Mr. Massey. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I have no, we have nothing for you to act on today. Um, I want to uh, thank you for uh, bringing attention to the work zone safety. Got any comments about the agreement that these gentlemen here are asking for? Um, I, we've been working with um, with the uh, with Mark Macklin, with the county attorney. Um, uh, I think that that in talking with them, I, I mean, we're we're trying to get real close on the agreement, um, and uh, we, I, as far as we request, we request this, just the same same type working <laughs> relationship that we've had with Limestone County Water, um, just to be notified when things are going to be done, give us an opportunity to comment. Um, From and, cutting roads to uh, any of that. Yeah, yeah. Any, any time that they're going to do any work within a right of way, um, give us an opportunity to comment. Um, and uh, like I said, so we're, we're just we're requesting the same type of work relationship. And so that's what we've been trying to trying to put on paper. Like they said, they've got some legal legal requirements on their side, but we're just trying to, to put all that on paper where it's been more of a gentleman's agreement with Limestone County <coughs> Water. Um, so we're just trying to work through through those things. But like I said, we have nothing nothing for you to act on today. Though. Right. I'll be glad to add a couple of things because the, the term legal issues has uh, come around first as to uh, that type of agreement in LCWSA selling part of its uh, system or its facilities. There is a uh, specific provision under the code uh, uh, chapter that they're incorporated under that would require consent of the commission. Uh, what they have to show and we haven't received yet is um, that that wouldn't threaten any indebtedness. I know it was recently reported in the newspaper that actually this money would go towards paying down indebtedness. I don't anticipate that being a problem, but that's something that you would have to have in then approving uh, the sale. That is something that would be legally required of the commission to complete uh, their deal. As to um, permission to use the county right-of-way. Um, that, I guess, is, is what we're continuing working through because um, they're wanting things that aren't required of this commission uh, in the way of blanket 
Thank you. I have one question. Is it y'all standard practice that when you go under the road that you sleeve it or case the water pipe? I mean, is that? Yes, sir. It will be whatever standards the, the, the county uh, engineer <coughs> prefers. But yes, sir, we, we don't just uh, usually direct bury the pipe. Clean. We want to make sure that it stays stable for a long time. Okay. And you prefer that, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank y'all. And um, thank y'all for your comments. <coughs> thank you, Mr. Massey. Uh, we have no other business. Um, well, I'll ask for a motion under the scheduled public hearing here for a scheduled public <coughs> hearing with conjunction of the commission meeting on May the 20th, 2019, regarding request to vacate a portion of Houston Ridge Road located in District 1. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Second. Black. Second. Second by Commissioner Salmon. Any discussion? Mr. Chairman, this is a, a dead end road. The gentleman's having problems, I think, with folks turning around on it, and he's wanting us to abandon, what, maybe 150 yards? Yeah, I was about to say about 350 feet, 365 right. feet, I think I mentioned. Okay, like that. but that's the request here, so that's what it's about. All right, thank you. Do we need to vote on that? Call for a vote on that, please. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. At this point, I turn over to the Board of Officers, Commissioner Sammy. Mr. Chairman, I don't have that much. Uh, I'd like to mention our 2020 census coming up. I've heard that a few of the reports have already maybe come out, but uh, I hope everybody stays on top of it and everybody gets them turned back in as soon as they get them. It means a lot to us. It's, it's going to be, it's going to make a difference in our county all together, I think. But I just wanted to mention that, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Simon. Commissioner Turner? I don't have anything new to report. All right. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Commissioner Black? Uh, we're just doing our uh, routine stuff that we do this time of the year, getting ready to start bush hogging, making sure everything's prepared <laughs> for that. Uh, I'll be uh, giving a list out. I've added a few roads where I'm going to uh, do quite a bit of striping this spring. Uh, I don't know. I think it'll be somewhere. I forget how many miles it ended up being. Probably about 22 or 23 miles we're going to stripe. It's going to be a, most of the roads are going to be off of Highway 72 that runs south from 72. That's going to be, be the majority of them that we do. It, it, for no other reason, just we can, it, the roads cannot be perfectly smooth, but I can make them a little bit safer by striping them and painting them. So we're going, we're going to do that, continue to uh, upkeep the roads where they'll be safe. but. Maybe this will help a little bit at night and help when it's raining. So uh, that's it. Thank you, Commissioner Black. Commissioner Harrison? Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, request a suspension of the rules to add this uh, peer repair and improvement to the agenda. Do I have a motion? To I'll make the motion. Make a motion to have a second. I'll second. Second by Commissioner Black. All right. So he wants, <coughs> I'll ask for a motion to approve. The peer repairs and improvements. We need to vote on it. Okay, I'm oh, sorry about that. My mind's going black. I'm in the gutter today. <laughs> Took some medicine this morning, but that must have. Pam, I'll ask for a vote on that, please. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Our motion carries. I'll ask for a motion to approve and repair and improve at Sportsman's Park Bridge. Boat Pier at District 4 total of $36,790, which Limestone County will pay 25% of the share of $9,100 and $9,197.50. Do I have such a motion? I'll make that motion. Motion by Commissioner Harris. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion? Uh, just this is the <laughs> repair to that pier and uh, boat launch down at Sportsman's Park. Uh, we've got an agreement with the uh, Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources that any improvements to that pier uh, would be shared with uh, 7525. Uh, that got, it got washed away and damaged, and uh, they have a, a new design now that will allow that to uh, decrease the angle when you have flooding conditions, and they think that it will survive better come the next flood. So that's what this is about. Thank you, Commissioner Harrison. With no more discussion, I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Sammet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Point, you have it back, Mr. Okay. Uh, we're 
working on Cannon Road, uh, Quinn Road, and Robinson Lane. That's our first batch of roads uh, in this paving season. Quinn Road, we're hoping to be able to lay down asphalt on that first 1,600 feet tomorrow. We're making cuts in the road and we're repairing base failures that will be repaired later on in that, in the, either this week or next week. And we're uh, going to reclaim uh, Robinson Lane and Cannon Road. Um, one of the, and I do want to respond to you um, oh, about Glendale Lane. Um, here's, here's the situation. When we get calls about road conditions, I, I go out, either I or my foreman go out and kind of do triage. And as you know, Glendale Lane has is, is got a whole lot of issues. It's got, there's not good drainage on that road. Um, and and, and the, there's numerous base failures. It is a dead end road. I think it's a 25 mile an hour speed limit on that road. We made, since y'all moved in a couple of years ago, you and your partner, uh, you know, y'all started, I started getting a lot of calls. We went out there and we put down <laughs> block material, we put down slag, we put down a number of, of, of stuff to uh, temporarily fill the holes. So w what I do is, is like, and I don't know, I went out there after she called me uh, on the road and looked at it. And yes, it's got a, it's, it's got a few potholes, but I have, I have to, uh, for example, we've had the 50-year the flood that we've got, we've got roads that are undermined that we still haven't gotten to yet. Uh, we've got one on Bethel Road, the pipe that's gotta be replaced. We're, we just did one that, that appeared that we didn't even know it was long after the flood occurred under Stennett Hollow Road. <coughs> And so we've got a no number of issues, flooding issues, and we've got, I got a call this morning about on Lawrenceburg Road that he couldn't hardly barely get out of his house, and, but you know, it was, it was damaged. So, so I do kind of a triage, and I, and I make my list and I establish a priority. So I'm not, in some, some things, it's a safety issue, I go out there right then, and we, we cover that. Some that it's if it's just a nuisance and and, and not it's not perfect, uh, you know it gets on down the list. And I've been out there every time every time your wife has called, uh, I've been out there to to assess the road. And and when it gets to that porch, when it gets raised on the list, or we knock off things above the list, we'll come out there and address it. Uh, I you know my assessment was that it was not a a, a safety issue, and so it got down on the list. Now, what the plans are for that road, you mentioned that you didn't want it to be ground up. Well, we're grinding up Cannon Road, and we're grinding up Glendale, and we're grinding up, uh, and we ground up that base failure 1,600 foot of Quinn Road. We are, we dug, we're dugging up, digging up, dugging up, digging up portions of Quinn Road later on to, for repairs. That's what needs to be done to that road. And I'm not making we did Barker Road last year, we did Maple Circle last year, we did Simpson Road. We're getting good base under these roads. We're first correcting all the drainage issues. We, we replaced seven pipes under Barker, added seven different pipes under that last part of Barker Road. Then we put down the, down the base, and, and, but we ground it up and let it set for eight months. And it was a gravel road. It was dusty, and when and that's okay during the winter time. But when it gets hot and the dust flies in the summer, I start getting the calls. But that's that's the process that these roads need to go through. And your road will be no different. And I will continue to assess the road, and I'll come out there and put slag temporary measures until we can get to where we can address that road right. And and I'm sorry, it's not the way you, it's not the way I want it, but it's a very time consuming process that that has to go through. And, and it's not even on the list for this, we've already created the list for this paving season. And I will look at that and see if it needs to go on next year's paving season. We'll come out and when the roads, and when it gets where, in my assessment that it needs an immediate attention, it will get that. I promise you that. But, but I've been out there and on, at a 25 miles, Speed limit, it, it's, it's, you're, I, it's hard, for, hard for me to believe that you're suffering that much damage on your vehicles with that road. And I'll go out there today because we did have rains and I got severe, it washed out my driveway this weekend. And I haven't looked at your road since this weekend. It's fairly flat. There's water crossing the roads, there's water puddling in the roads. There's a number of issues on Glendale Lane. 
but it will come out and fill the potholes but it won't be on this year's list and it may not even make next year's list i'll try to put it on I, i'm doing assessments uh continually doing assessments which roads would, would get but but i'm not going to go out and pave that road until it's ready to be paved because what happens that's what happens a lot of times sometimes it gets it's pretty bad when you when you chip seal over a road that's not ready to be chip sealed but it's really bad when you take a chip seal road and you make it a plant mix road, which everybody wants, but th that's a huge cost increase. Plus, if you don't fix what's under it first, it won't last any time. And then it's really expensive to fix that road. And I know it's not what you want to hear, um, but that's just the reality. And, and we're trying to address these roads as going through methodically and trying to fix these roads, trying to fix them right where it won't matter what type of surface I put on top of the roads, whether it's a chip seal or a plant mix, that it'll have a chance of surviving. And that's the only, in this, in this environment where we are, even with the gas tax that we'll start getting in uh, January of next year, the added gas tax money, uh, we're not going to have near enough. Uh, so w this is the only rational way a rational approach that I think that we can take to try to get these roads in a position to where we're not going out there every few years. So, so I, I hope you understand. Uh, maybe we can talk later after this, and, and and I'll try to go out there and smooth out the, the potholes. But it's but it'll be, and we'll have to continue to do that until we get it to where we can actually go out there and have ditches down the side of the road first and then get the drainage right and then drop, add stuff to the base to where we can make it where it can hold up. So that's all I have. Thank you, Commissioner Harris. All right. I just want to thank everybody for coming. At this time, I want to tell everybody about the PALS kickoff program for 2019. It's Don't Drop Litter in Alabama. It's a thing that's participated in by us and all other parts of the county. And it'll be going on through this, I can't remember the date on here, this month this next week. It's April the 20th or the 27th. Um, and with that being said, I want to thank everybody for coming. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Parnell, for coming today. And we will recess until 10 a.m. on Wednesday, May the 1st, 2019, at the Washington Street Courthouse Annex, 310 West Washington Street. Thank you. <coughs>